She throwing my stuff out. I'm letting her do it. I ain't gonna say nothing to her about what she doing. Get off, and you feel better. You feel better. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? How you doing today? I hope that your day is going fine. If not, I hope tomorrow gets better. I want to take this time out to say thank you to everyone who's tuning in to the videos. If you haven't hit the subscribe button, I ask that you go ahead and do so. And make sure to toggle that notification bell to stay current with all of the videos that we're posting. I remember a long time ago, somebody told me, if your woman puts your clothes out and they're all over the place, you can go back to that relationship. But if she put them out neat, then you may have a problem. Just check out this video. And I'm not trying to bother her. She throwing my stuff out. I'm letting her do it. I ain't going to say nothing to her about what she doing. Get off and you feel better. You feel better. That will make you feel better. Go ahead. Check the other pockets and make sure all my stuff out of there. Because if I'm missing anything, I'm coming to get it. By any means necessary. Come get it. You hit me with anything. Hmm. Before I say anything, go ahead and drop your comments in the comment section. I'm going to say this. Fellas, get your own place. Get your own place. That's the only piece of advice that I can give you. Because I wish that I had that mind frame when I was younger. Get your own place. Stop moving in with these women. Matter of fact, we're supposed to be the provider. And I know a lot of y'all think that's the old way of thinking, but we're supposed to be the provider. First, that means you have to provide for yourself because you can't be put out of your own place. You cannot be put out of your own place. I mean, he got stuff at her house, and guess what she could do whenever she get mad at you? Well, just what this woman is doing. But I can tell you this, he's going to be able to go back to that relationship. As volatile and violent as it is, he'll be able to go back, and I'm going to tell you why. I remember years ago, I saw a video, I saw something, maybe, you know, when uh, Facebook first started or, you know, we got hip to it, it said, if a woman just throws your stuff out and your stuff is scattered and it's in disarray and it's just all over the place, you could go back to that relationship because she's just mad at you. She's just angry at you. Just like this woman. She's mad. She's angry. A little bit crazy because she got a knife. <laughs> but <laughs> she's crazy. But she, then the post said, if your stuff is put away neatly and organized, she done with you, buddy. Yeah, yeah, you're done. You can't go back to that house. Because that woman has had time to process She's had time to think about what she wants to do in life, and you are no longer part of that solution or equation or plan, however you want to say it. But she's done with you. But this woman just mad. She's just mad. She want to cut up stuff. She probably want to uh, punch holes in his tires, too. She's just pissed off. That's all that is. But this guy should, I'm glad he documented it, but he should call the cop. Hey, I don't care what nobody say about me. I'm calling the cops. I'm documenting this stuff. Y'all see how people killing people one another right now? Y'all see how people killing people these days? No, I'm finna document this. Because you got a weapon. I don't ain't that much love in the world. Love will make people crazy. But I'm gonna tell you this. I'm gonna document it. <laughs> hey, you get mad all you want. I'm documenting it. Because that one time that things go too far, that one time, that's it. That's it's over. All it takes is one time for things to go too far. But I think this, this relationship is toxic. And you know what? This guy probably liked this a little bit. He probably liked being with her and just knowing that she's going to act up whenever they go through something. You know, some people like that type of stuff. But me, myself, I, I don't like drama. I don't do drama. Nah. Well, I'm willing to sit down and have a grown person conversation. I'm not finna sit here and argue with you, especially when you have a knife in your hand. And he know, I believe she'll use it because you see at the end when she pick up, goes to pick up a rock, he run. So he know that she's violent. 
Thank God I never been in a physical relationship. And I, I really feel bad for the people who are in physical relationships because a lot of times they can't say nothing. They've been done got manipulated and to the point to where when they get their hands put on them, they feel like there's love. That's crazy. But this guy going to go back to this woman because she's just mad. He's going to go back to her. You know, I, I, domestic violence is not right. And, you know, it's crazy the amount of people, men, who are in relationships that involves domestic violence, but they don't say anything. Because they look at how people is going to view them. Not me. <laughs> I'm going to the popos. You're not going to sit here and just beat on me. Put your hands on me. Use weapons on me. One day it's going to go too far. And that shouldn't be normal anyway. A lot of times you're just going to pass that off to your children. I have a cousin, and I remember he was in a relationship with this woman. And this woman, she was nice. She was a nice lady, but she didn't play no games. When it was time to handle business, she handled business. And I remember just, I, I don't know why, but this day I just went up there to see him, and I just went to talk to them. And we were sitting down, and everything was cool. But something happened that I missed. They got in an argument about something. I, something I didn't know of. It was something inside that just built over. And he kept messing with this woman. She kept telling him, leave me alone. Leave me, you're making me mad. Leave me alone. He kept bothering her. She went in the house and got a knife. I like, let me move. <laughs> so I moved, you know what I'm saying? And the way it was, we were... On the stairs. We were in, uh, on the, in an apartment complex and it had stairs. And so I moved down. And so he was standing like middle part of the stairs and she was at the top. And he kept just messing with her. He kept going like this, wow. Wow. <laughs> she took that knife that last time and did like this. Yeah. Man, all of that was cut open. She sliced that man. Sliced them open. You can see like his cartilage. Huh. That's domestic violence. And he stayed with her for years after that. Had kids with her. I'm not, not me. I'm not finna let you abuse me. I, I'm gonna call, I'm gonna call the police. I'm gonna get it documented. I'm a law-abiding citizen. <laughs> hey, but that's all I got to say about this one. You let me know what you think. Drop it in the comment section. Until the next time, peace.